Hey, what's up guys? So there's a condition called plantar fasciitis and it's a very common symptom. So if you get out of bed in the morning and you put pressure on your foot first thing in the morning and you feel a pressure in your heel, like you're standing on a pebble, you could be suffering from plantar fasciitis. Uh, if you're a runner or triathlete or you just have general foot pain while walking and it feels like there's a pressure or something digging into your heel while walking, you could be struggling with this condition. So I'm gonna show you a very simple way you can help fix yourself because it doesn't it does get misdiagnosed a lot and you you can be struggling with your foot pain for much longer than you need to so the first thing you can do is get yourself a tennis ball or something harder I've got a cricket ball in here and you can take this and do your trigger point massage right on the heel so what you can do do this barefoot or with a sock and you want to put the ball right under the base of your heel just in the front there so put the pressure that you require that not too hard you just want to get a nice feel it might feel very tender you just want to go back and forth and break that scar tissue up and break that muscle up because that scar tissue is what gives you that pain in the heel and makes things a lot tighter and makes you struggle to walk the next thing you can do you can just stretch your foot and lengthen that plantar fascia which helps when you breaking up the muscle lengthening it it's just going to help your foot move more naturally because walking day to day with shoes we also limit our range of motion in the foot and the muscles become much weaker and if you walk around barefoot in the garden and just strengthen those muscles along with the trigger point therapy it's going to help you in the long run and you're going to get less and less pain the next thing you can do is supplementation there are three main things to take magnesium which helps Relax the muscle, so you can do your trigger point therapy, take your magnesium at night, and that muscle will stay relaxed the next morning when you put your foot down. It will just be relaxed enough just to get that extra stretch and heal over time. Go to a pharmacy, get a B12 supplement, B12 complex. Um, you can either get a shot by the pharmacy. And the main thing there is the B5, which also helps send signals to the, to the nerves and muscles, helps relax that muscle and tendon, and that in combination with the magnesium helps relax that muscle over time and heal. Last thing you can do is take omega-3 fish oils, which reduces the inflammation, because if you've got that scar tissue in your heel, you're gonna have a lot of inflammation, a lot of scar tissue, and a very tight band that you wanna loosen. So getting rid of that inflammation takes away a lot of that pain, and you can use heat or ice, and just a combination of all these things together can help you walk a lot better, and it can take a lot of strain off your foot, and that in turn helps your knees and your hips and the rest of your body to walk in a more neutral, relaxed position. So I hope this helps you and I will see you guys soon.